Hello YouTube, this is Enhander from FearPaintball.net. wasn't going to do this until I actually got all the uh, parts I needed to set this thing up and shoot it and uh, do one whole video, but due to YouTube's 10 minute time restriction, I think I'm just going to have to do this video in two parts. Um, part one, I'm going to show you what I got in the mail today. See that? That is an Engler Custom X7BAR Browning Automatic Rifle from World War II done by the man himself, Eric Engler, who I will be doing an interview with at Castle Conquest coming up in April. Just got it today. I've been waiting for quite some time to get this baby. And, uh, yeah, I like it a lot. It's uh, it's definitely everything that I expected it to be. Um, one thing that I'm going to be working on is the grip frame right here. Um, we are going to be working to see if we can remove this section of the frame, the pistol grip area, extend the trigger guard back a little bit, and move the actual trigger back to about right here that way it will be a lot like the actual BAR where I will be able to hold it like an actual rifle around here and be able to shoot it that way just because that pistol grip there is really really throwing off the, uh, the BAR look um, making it look more like a older FAL um, let me go over some of the little finer points of this here have an actual BAR underneath this, an actual BAR front sight with a with uh, Engler custom modded a front sight hood to go over it. The barrel is a 25 inch hammerhead barrel, um, custom made by Engler, with a 688 fin on the back of it. Fins can be replaced on, so I can get a 690 fin. Um, this is an actual. BAR front shroud or handguard. This is not an actual BAR gas tube. Those are 300 bucks, and I wasn't about to pay 300 bucks for just a bar. So Engler made one, welded the uh, area up around here. Now it's not welded to the actual barrel, um, but it just loops around the barrel here. And this is all one piece. This section right here. Um, kind of bummed that this isn't sitting back here, but beggars can't be choosers. It's fine with me. Um, of course we got a custom made magwell by Engler um, and the BAR, actual BAR magazine right here which I'm gonna get the air parts for and make it air through the remote section will come out right here. We have, this isn't a actual BAR um, rear sight. Those were insanely expensive as well. Um, what Engler had to do was he made the custom uh, cover for it and this is a rear sight off of a Mark III I believe Lee Enfield rifle but uh, it's pretty much the same thing you have your your uh, normal peep sight right here you lift it up with the uh, adjuster right here little neat feature. I don't think I'd actually use it, but it's neat to have on there. And of course he milled off the top tack rail on the X7, filled in this little spot like the actual bar has a little hump up right there. So, And then of course he made the, the whole uh, back section adapter that attaches to the stock, which this is an actual BAR stock with real BAR uh, hardware, sling attachment, and a really cool feature that I did not know was on the actual bar. Um, the stock right here actually flips out like a saw stock and use it as a uh, shoulder rest. I thought that was pretty cool when I first got it. I didn't know that they actually did that. Um, but that's definitely going to help with stabilization of this, this beast because it's... I can't say it's extremely heavy because it's not. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big guy as it is, but it, it's really not that... Uh, 
not that cumbersome. Um, now, another thing that I will note, the barrel is really hard to take off. If I got a break in the field, uh, it's going to be a pain. Because um, this is a screw-on tip right here. It has to come off. The front sight and the front sight hood have to come off. And then the whole assembly here has to come off before the whole actual barrel is able to be unscrewed. Uh, it's probably the worst thing about the uh, the BAR here, but other than that, like I said, I'm really happy with it. I love it. Um, you guys know I love World War II guns. I have my Thompson. I'm making an M1A1 carbine mag right now. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have it in, in the coming days here. As soon as I get all the air parts for it, all I need to do is, is put the macro and all the air fittings in here. Should have that by at least Monday. Get those in there, and I'll take it outside and shoot it for you guys and uh, and show you how it, how it turns out. I will be doing one more thing. Um, if you've noticed, some of the BARs have a, I guess you would call it a flash suppressor or a flash hider that would go right here. I'm going to make one of those and uh, possibly, just for grins and giggles, um, get the carry handle. I can get one of those uh, I think for 60 bucks and uh, figure out a way to attach it on here. It shouldn't be too hard if you remove all this and the carry handle should just slide right down over it and figure out a way to secure it properly and uh, the, uh, the bipod. Um, the bipod really I think completes the look for the bar. I don't know why, I'm just so used to seeing it with a bipod on it. Um, not so much with the carry handle. You, you know, World War II movies, you rarely see them with a carry handle on it, but some of them do have the uh, the bipods, so I might be getting one of those. I'm not, I'm not sure. But uh, as it stands, just to give you an idea, here is the, the bottom of my my makeshift desk and it goes all the way up to the top uh, roughly the barrel itself is 25 inches if I set it next to me it comes up to about my rib cage area and I am 6'3 so to give you a little idea of how massive this beast is um, this will be at uh, Castle Conquest um, be showing it off with a lot of Engler's other markers and it's going to be at our first Mission Masters game this year which is Stalingrad in uh, Three Rivers Paintball on April 10th so just wanted to show you guys this and be watching for the video of it shooting I'm really wanting to see how this shoots with the hammerhead barrel on it especially being as long as it is so uh, we'll see so stay tuned